I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Such a fascinating prophecy, this prophecy of Habakkuk, because it's, it's dealing with the end of times in, in his time. He's a, a contemporary of Jeremiah and talking about the situation in the kingdom of Judah and this end that's coming. He, the close of this period where God's promises through Abraham, through Jacob, through Moses, Joshua, where, where they're being fulfilled in the context of this kingdom of Israel or kingdom of Judah the house of David, and all the promises to it, this time is coming to an end. And Habakkuk is there, he's seeing what's coming, he's warning about it, and he's talking about what's going to come next. This is the prophet that Paul quotes on more than one occasion, this line, the just shall live by his faith. Because in the time that Habakkuk is living in, and that he is foretelling, this time is coming when, when all the things that, that they have been holding on to as a people, the, the temple, the kingdom, their connection to the land, these things are, are ending. And they're going to have to go into this era of faith, where the ones who choose to still be God's people are going to have to do so by their faith. And it's a very significant moment. It's kind of like rolling back the clock to the time of the patriarchs, where they have to take God at his word, and their knowledge of God is their evidence as is explained in Hebrews chapter 11. So you have these different things going on here. The prophet who's watching, who's faithfully writing down what the Lord is telling him, these things are coming, and there's this time coming when those who want to be righteous, those who want to continue being God's people, who want to continue living in a way that pleases God, they're gonna to have to do so by faith, without the institutions of the kingdom and the temple, but knowing nonetheless that God is faithful and that he does what he says he does, and that he is who he says he is. It's this very significant time that God's people are going into in the 6th century BC, and it's going to be mirrored again in the time of the New Testament, when again they're seeing the close of their age, and people have to choose to continue on by faith. And Paul's readers in the 1st century AD, like Habakkuk's readers way back in his time, are hearing the words of God's leaders, not necessarily the, the uh, official leaders who hold the positions, but they're hearing the words of these people that God has appointed to give his message, and they're making decisions about how they will continue on living, even when everything they know has completely changed. Well, that's my Bible reading for today. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button, subscribe, and share these videos. I look forward to talking to you again later. Bye for now.